The Zach's rank, value, momentum, growth and income all factor into Zach's rank buys. Welcome to another edition of Zach's Rank Buy. I am Brian Bolin, and I am the aggressive growth stock strategist here at Zach's, and I'm here with two more stocks to keep on your aggressive growth stock radar. And the first one, as you can see, is IAC, the Interactive Corp, and the ticker is IAC. It is a Zach's Rank Buy, a Zach's Rank Strong Buy, Zach's Rank number one strong buy easy for me to say right uh, and it has that great divergence that I love to see it has an a for growth and an F for value and that tells me right away that I'm on the right path here because growth investors and value investors are inherently uh, looking for different things you know one of the things that uh, you know talking about I a IAC that you know they own a lot of things but uh, we just want to jump right ahead to this chart here and take a look at this this sort of Big dip down here at the beginning of May. And, you know, Interactive owns 81% of the Match Group, Match.com, uh, Tender, of Fish in the Sea. There's a whole bunch of dating apps they have. But Facebook on that day said that they uh, are looking into getting, uh, you know, something in that, in that space as well. Uh, since then, there's been a whole a bunch of nothing. There's been analysts saying that the, it's nothing to worry about. Uh, and as you can see, the stock has come all the way back that is quite a nice move from uh from basically 130 back to almost 160 now uh so a nice uh, recovery there uh, once again teaching investors to buy the dip if we take a look at why this stock is a zach's rank number one we can see that earnings estimates are moving up uh 626 just 30 days ago now up to 683 that's what we like to see and you know, next year we were looking at eight dollars and eleven cents. There now we're at eight sixty nine. That's another good move up here. You know, not the greatest uh, earnings history. We've got two meat beats there, and they're decent size. But then most recently we've got two beats. But uh, XOXO for uh, for this one. Let's jump to the chart and take a look at how that looks, and we can see. There is a real big story here that I want to uh, let everyone in on. You know, on the price and consensus chart here, we can see the earnings estimates lines. You know, here's one of them right here. Hang on. Here's one of them right there. Here's another. And they're each color coded for the different years. Uh, but here is the real important idea. Right here is the beginning for the 2018 number. And you can see that. It is just moved up nice and slow and steady where these other ones were starting off and, and tailing off. This one has really changed. So right about here, this big spike of vo volume, this big move, even though we're going to call that a, a miss there on that one right there. And now we can't see much on that chart. But, you know, right about there, we can see that, you know, at this time spot, this is where the story really changed. Earnings estimates started moving higher. The stock did as well. Uh, I don't think that there's any reason uh, to see this stock pull back. And I think, you know, that Facebook fear is kind of overdone. Anytime there's a good size dip in this thing, I would be a aggressive buyer for an aggressive growth stock. All right, let's move on to our next one. It is Zebra Technologies, and the ticker there is ZBRA. I'm going to tell you where it is. This is where you can see it on the website, Zebra Technologies. ZBRA. It too is a Zach's rank number one strong buy, and it has that excellent divergence that I love to see. A for growth, D for value. Not quite the full divergence of an A and an F, uh, but still pretty good here. If we jump over to why this stock is a Zach's rank number one, we're going to see that it's because earnings estimates just keep on bouncing higher. Uh, you can see that started at 928, 90 days ago. Now we're up to 977. That's moving in the right direction. Next year, looking at 988 and moving to 1035. That is an even bigger, bigger arrow. If I keep on drawing, it'll keep on getting bigger. Uh, it's a bad arrow, so let's get rid of it. Uh, you know, obviously here there there aren't that many. Um, I think I'm on the wrong thing here. Let's scroll it down. There we go, uh, there because I knew this stock was beating and beating and beating. So uh, you know, a nice beat of four percent there. Wow, it's a big one. Uh, here's an eight percent, 
nine percent, twenty four percent. I think the idea, you know, and this was a four percent there. The idea is that these beats keep on getting bigger, up arrows, bigger. And we like to see that. And, and another idea here is, you know, along with these beats, these beat numbers getting bigger and bigger and bigger is the idea that they are also raising guidance uh, each time. I think the last couple quarters of the stock has beat and raised guidance. Now we take a look at the chart and you can see what's going on here. You know, earnings estimates are, are just, you know, Again, kind of like the situation we saw in IAC where, you know, the estimates would start high and then they would come in. You know, here's an, you know, starting high, coming in, starting high, kind of flatlining, but then kind of tailing up here. You know, now we really have them moving up, you know, and that is what we like to see. And you can see how that has carried the stock higher. So as we look at this stock here, we see over the last, you know, two years here, we got, you know, two here, four here, and two here. That's two years worth of solid beats. Okay, and I really love to see that, but I really even more than love to see that is see those earnings estimates drag that stock higher. And that keeps that stock on my radar screen, something that should be on your radar screen, despite the fact that it is right around $160 per share, and that is pretty pretty much at the highs. But uh, I, if you keep on beating, keep on guiding higher. Shouldn't have too much fears on this one. Well, that's it for this week. Join us again next time as we profile two more aggressive growth stocks for your radar screen.